So this is installing a copper ground rod in your home. Um, this this wasn't here previously. This copper ground rod rod you get at the, the home center. I got my Home Depot five eighths, and um, it was like under twelve dollars. You get a five eighths ground rod clip, which is pretty much near there, and then number six copper, their copper, and this is because I have another ground rod over here, the existing one, you can see right in the middle there, that had to tie into, and um, uh, have two ground rods, each ground rod needs to be at least six feet apart, and um, uh, buried in the ground just enough so you can have it, you know, roughly flush, and then the inspector can see it. Um, the other thing is, is it supposed to be continuous number six if in your area it just depends uh, if that's the case or not you just have to talk to your inspector if they can let you you know uh, let you buy with a, with a splice from one ground rod to the other otherwise you have to open up the box typically the the panel or I mean the um, in my case it would be the meter box um, where it comes directly from so and make a make a connection but um, just use a combination of, I use the combination of sledgehammer, fist maul, and then also a little, um, a, a little bit bigger than a normal hammer, like a 25 ounce hammer or something. And then um, and drive it home, and it takes about 20 minutes, I would say, at most, by the time you lay it all out and drive it in. And it was under um, 20 bucks. Um, for the rod and the clamp, and then I had this number six already previously. Um, so I just have to price that out. And again, six feet at least um, from one ground rod to the other ground rod, and uh, put some bolt cutters and uh, some slip joint pliers to tighten up your your clamp, and uh, then you can get it inspected. And uh, that's how you hook up a ground rod clamp.